last night I, I was going through like NBA teams and I was just like, you know what? I, I want to see if like just hypothetically, if any of these teams would actually want RJ Barrett on their team, like, oh, are any of these teams clamoring at the bit to get RJ Barrett? And I'm gonna start with this first team, the Dallas Mavericks. We okay. know they need they, they need a secondary guy so bad. <laughs> I don't think they want RJ Barrett. At Fuck all. no. I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> they, and on. that's a team desperate for like a player. Nah, and I don't think on. they want RJ Barrett. We They're just want des- Jalen Brunson back. Give me I, give me another one. Give me another one. The Phoenix Suns. They they might benefit from an RJ Barrett. Nah, nah, they're uh-huh. not benefiting from him. They got CP3 and Devin Booker. He just going to come I off think, the bench. I think the Phoenix Suns yeah. will be a fit Hit for me. RJ. I do. No, 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 no. no, no I no. mean, not not to come and start, but as a six man, I think that's a good And then, me. like, with Monty as a coach, bro, I think he would do more things with RJ. I think he would be a nice compliment to that team. Because RJ doesn't start. But, Joe, are, no. you, are, are, you saying, are you saying these no. names, are you saying them as, like, somebody to come and be, like, the starting two guard or three guard? Or are you saying just to fit somewhere on the team and have a role? Ideally, like, you'd want RJ to be a starter for, like, you know, the expectations on him. But, yeah, mm-hmm. just to have a role. You know, like yeah, Phoenix, Mikel is better than him. And, and Cam right. Johnson doesn't have the numbers, but I think he's a much better fit than RJ. Right. I, I, Cam I Johnson can I, shoot, though. That's – Yeah. So, so, and that, so that's give, me, give, not, me Payne. Like... give me Cam Payne. Give me Cam Payne over RJ. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo. Oh, oh keep God. Going. Let's... Let's... No, no, that ain't – Nah, nah, nah. We're not bugging. We're not bugging. Nah, y'all – Bro, I don't know. We gotta be real, RJ. It. Who's a better Who's a better passive distributor, RJ Barrett or Cameron Payne? I'm taking. I'm taking RJ okay. Barrett. What? RJ Barrett. What? No, you're not, J. Rob. <laughs> no not way. Not no way. I'm no. I'm not talking about the passing. I'm not not to answer the passing question. I'm just saying in general. I'm taking RJ, bro. Oh yeah, care. for sure. For sure. I don't oh, care about that passing, bro. I'm taking. I'm not. I'm not gonna break this one down. We talking about off the bench. We talking about off the bench. A secondary facilitator who can also <laughs> knock down the three ball. You suck too, Xavier. <laughs> who can also knock down the three ball? Man, Why are you asking? Paint over Yo, RJ, bro. RJ Barrett is not a point guard. He's a three. Like the the jobs are different. He don't play defense. So what we what are we doing? He's average at best. You know where RJ needs to go. This campaign is such a defensive anchor, right? RJ right, Barrett hey, to the G League, Jenny. Yeah, well, got, the, got that's one handle, option. But he, got, he needs he to go to the capacity. he needs to go to the Lakers so that he could get Phil Handy to teach him how to dribble. <laughs> My <laughs> goodness, him on the Lakers would be so ugly. He needs that nah, Phil Handy really work. Really really I feel like the two teams that I think of that actually would be cool fits would be the Pacers is one. Mm-hmm. Pacers could be okay. The Blazers aren't too bad, but. I'd much rather have Shaden Sharp get those touches. And the Miami Heat. I think the Heat, maybe they turn him around. I don't know. Dub. We turned a lot of people around, so I mean I wouldn't be surprised with that. Miami Heat, <laughs> I'm not mad at. Around. We turned pause that. I don't and RJ <laughs> still young, fellas. Like RJ's still very, very young. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, I still got a little faith. Come on, JD. I, I do. Faith. I do. I, I definitely do. Okay. I have faith. I mean, hold on. Let's so I do here. think RJ, one thing men- mentality-wise, I think mentality-wise, RJ wants to be an alpha, bro. Like his bro, he averages 20? Yeah. <laughs> how many shots does he how many bro, shots that, he Joel, you're not wrong. That is a crazy 20 points, just meaningless. It, it's a weak 20 points. I've never seen it before. Well, I have, but he, recently, this is, this is the guy. Like, this is... I, I think he's going to be the empty stats player of like our generation. Player of the year, empty yeah. stats player. Like we're going to look at our and like he's just wow, like wow, this guy averaged this much. It didn't feel like he did. But maybe uh, something saves him because that would have been Andrew Wiggins if it wasn't for the Warriors kind of showing him other ways to play the game and really highlighting the things that he does great. You know, he was an all star, everything. So you never know. Things but could change. They, Free well, RJ, showed, 16 Wiggins, shots a game, Wiggins Bob. Showed. Wiggins, okay, Wiggins showed yeah. even on the Wolves, he did have flashes of being a, a very good defender. On top of being the good defender, he's a good slasher as well. He's always had that. The Warriors just maximized those abilities. So RJ Barrett, we just went through his game right now. He's not that great of a shooter. He's a he's not that great of a shooter. He's an average at best defender. He's not that great of a a, a driver. Like what about uh, his game can be increased or maximized on any other team? No, he actually needs to develop his game. That's what he needs to, to develop his game. You think, Wiggins, you, think Wiggins, you, think, you think Andrew Wiggins' game was fully developed before he got to the Warriors? You don't think they added I, anything? 
to a I game think, because I, that's I the think. thing with the Timberwolves. He was asked to be a primary scorer. Mm-hmm. With the with the Warriors, he was not asked to be that. So there, Jay, Jay Rob, that, he, game, he did have to add. He Absolutely. didn't. He didn't develop. He didn't develop anything as far as his actual ability to play. It was more of a mental or mindset thing going to a different organization. Andrew Andrew Wiggins was already cold before he got there. He was just playing in Minnesota, and what what he was doing wasn't. It was first. It wasn't but, winning. But Dub is also that, lying hard. too. Could you say well, Reggie Barrett is not a good driver of the basketball? Well, for, well, 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 that's not well you know true. what, Jerry? We all just we all that's got on here true. and told and told and told yeah, a big lie not, already. Because y'all, 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 y'all can play two ways. This is like what I I don't know who who doing defensive wind chairs here at Players Choice, but I don't like the way we talk about defenders as a whole because that's like our average at best defender. I don't think RJ is an average at best defender, bro. What do you think I he is? Think, yeah, best. Okay, what, what was your what was your grade? What was your thing with the numbers? Just one through ten. ten just one ten, through ten. ten I'll give him. I will give him a seven at his best, bro. That's that's that's, that's good. That's good. That's fine. You know, Jay Rob, I that's think you good. made. A, I think you made a great point earlier, and I think it actually works against your argument because you said Wiggins was asked to be a primary scorer in Minnesota. He was asked to do that. He averaged twenty three, I think, in twenty sixteen or twenty seventeen, and it's obvious like he can't be the first option on the team. Mm. He went to Golden State, and now he's asked to be in a role, and now you see he's much more efficient. He's playing mm-hmm. a great role. RJ mm-hmm. is not asked to be a primary guy in New York. So True. nothing nothing this far shows me he can be a primary guy any, anywhere else. And in New mm-hmm. York, he's struggling to, to even find a role. So right. that's why I think that's the difference with, with Wiggins is that Wiggins was asked to be a primary guy, then mm-hmm. fit into a role player, where RJ's a role player right now, and he's not right. thriving in that situation. But wait a second, Joe. But, I think, but second. I think that was from the emergence of Julius, though. If we never got Julius, what what, what would we demand from RJ? You know what I'm no, saying? Like that's Julius, not, that's like, not true. But hold Julius on, but hold on, y'all, 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 tripping, y'all, y'all, tripping, y'all tripping anyway. Y'all, y'all tripping anyway because Joe, I, I I lost track of standings and records and whatnot, and I let you come up here and you gave that long speech and you rocked me to sleep. And you convinced me that the, that the that the Knicks are just ass when in actuality they're plus five hundred team. Got twenty points per game from RJ. That's Jalen Brunson, something. though. That's, that's it's, it's, it, don't, it don't it don't it don't it don't, it, it don't matter who it's it don't it don't matter because that's that's irrelevant. My, it doesn't matter who it's because they're a basketball team. I remember when they went on that <laughs> run and won and won what six or seven straight. So somebody somebody got to do it. So if it's right, because of Jalen Brunson, if it's because of Jalen Brunson, then that's fine. I'm talking about the New York Knicks as a whole. Y'all right. came on here and just blasted RJ. Now we not y'all. Not, we just mm-hmm. we just blast RJ Barrett like that. Twenty points means nothing. When they're twenty-seven and twenty-five, and we sit up here and we talk about LeBron James's points all day, and they're thirteenth, twelfth in the East. No, 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 no. It's my bad. To be, so let's uh, to be fair, to don't, be don't, fair, Bobby. Not, not, hold on, we I'm have, not, we have not, talked not, about I'm those meaningless, I'm not going to let y'all do this today. I'm not, I'm not, not, not going to let y'all do this today. Well, on, because RJ, because look, because look, I just, I just let y'all, I just let y'all rock me to sleep. With these, with these big words. Well, good morning. And, good morning. And smooth talking. I was over here asleep. Joe, Joe just hit me with the follow. You know, follow the, the clock. Was hit me, hit me, he just hypnotized me and let me believe that RJ Barrett's twenty points mean, meant nothing. He's shooting sixteen shots a game. Where you got a lot of guys out here shooting twenty six shots a game. He's averaging twenty points. He plays defense. You first of all, first of all, y'all said he don't play defense. RJ Barrett plays defense. I, I defended. You know that. what I'm saying? He's twenty seven. They're twenty seven and twenty five. <laughs> They're in the playoffs. They're seven. They're, well, they're in the playing. They're the seventh seed. So I don't want to hear nothing about anybody else that's that's not in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. LeBron James, because y'all y'all done, y'all been talking so crazy about that man. Y'all done oh had me up here God. defending LeBron, and I just don't do that. But I had to do it for about a week straight. But let's get let's get it back. Let's get things back level. RJ Barrett's twenty points mean more than LeBron James points. Hey.